Let us now take the fourth model from this topic of probability where we shall take up some typical questions from this topic. Let us have a look at the first one. The probability that Rohan can solve a question is 3 by 4 and the probability that Sohan can solve it is 5 by 8. What is the probability that the question gets solved if both of them try it? So here we have two persons Rohan and Sohan. Now the probability that Rohan can solve a particular question is 3 by 4. That means probability of Rohan being successful is 3 by 4. And the probability that Sohan can solve it is 5 by 8. So the probability that Sohan is successful is 5 by 8. Now if both of them together try, what is the probability that the question gets solved? Now as given in the question, let's say probability of Rohan being successful is equal to 3 by 4. So from this we can say that probability of Rohan's failure can be taken as 1 minus probability of Rohan's success that is equal to 1 minus 3 by 4 which comes out to be 1 by 4. So probability that Rohan can solve the question is 3 by 4. Probability that Rohan fails in solving the question is 1 by 4. Likewise probability of Sohan's success is equal to 5 by 8 as given the question. So from this we can say probability of Sohan's failure is 1 minus probability of Sohan's success that is 1 minus 5 by 8 which comes out to be 3 by 8. So we now have the probability of both the person's success and probability of the failure of both these persons. Now as given here both of them try solving the question and we need to find out the probability that the question gets solved. Now here we have different cases in which the question can get solved. For example, let's say Rohan is successful in solving the question and Sohan fails. So anyhow we have got the solution for the question. Likewise, if Sohan is successful and Rohan fails, even then we have got the solution for the given question. And if both of them are successful in solving the question, still we get the solution for the given question. So there are three different cases. Rohan can solve, Sohan cannot solve. or Sohan can solve, Rohan cannot solve or both of them can individually solve it. So we can take the answer as the required probability can be taken as Rohan should be successful. Now when Rohan has to be successful and Sohan has to fail, we should take probability of Rohan's success into probability of Sohan's failure or that is nothing but plus Sohan solves the question and Rohan fails in solving the question. So that should be taken as probability of Sohan's success into probability of Rohan's failure. Or the third case possible here is both of them are successful in solving the question. So Rohan will be successful and even Sohan is successful in solving the question. So these are the three ways in which the question can be solved. So now the answer can be taken as we know probability of Rohan's success is 3 by 4 into probability of Sohan's failure is 3 by 8 plus probability of Sohan's success is 5 by 8 into probability of Rohan's failure is equal to 1 by 4 plus probability of Rohan's success again is 3 by 4 into probability of Sohan's success is 5 by 8. Now by simplifying this we get the required answer. So the LCM here is equal to 32. Why? Because 4 into 8 is 32, 8 into 4 and again 4 into 8 gives us 32. Now 3 into 3 is 9 plus 5 into 1 is 5 plus 3 into 5 is 15. So we get total 29 by 32. So that is the answer for the given question. That means the probability that the question gets solved if both of them try it will be 29 by 32. So the important point to be observed here is in such cases when we take one person's successful probability the other person's failure probability also has to be considered. Now the other way of solving the question instead of going it in this manner the other way of solving the question is the probability of success that means the required probability can be taken as 1 minus probability that the question doesn't get solved that means 1 minus probability that both of them fail both the persons fail we know that total probability is always 1 so from this total probability if we subtract the probability where both of them fail we get the remaining probability that is where at least one of them is successful so we can say that the answer can be obtained by taking it as 1 minus probability of both failure so that can be taken as 1 minus probability of Rohan's failure is 1 by 4 into probability of Sohan's failure is 3 by 8. So that comes out to be 1 minus 3 by 32 and upon simplification we get 32 minus 3 that is 29 by 32. So either we can take this as 29 by 32 or we can directly take here 1 minus probability of both the persons being failed is equal to 29 by 32. And as you can observe, this is a smart way of solving the question where we get the answer in just one step. Whereas here, we need to take all the three possible cases, find out their probabilities and add all of them to get the required answer.
Let us now take another interesting example from model 4. The question says a bag contains 5 red and 4 green balls and another bag contains 3 red and 7 black balls. If a ball is drawn from each bag, find the probability that both are of different colors. So here we have got two bags. The first bag contains 5 red and 4 green balls and the second bag contains 3 red and 7 black balls. We have to pick up a ball from each of these bags and we need to find the probability that both are of different colors. As given here, bag 1 contains 5 red balls and 4 green balls. Likewise, bag 2 contains 3 red and 7 black balls. Now we have to select one ball from bag 1 and one ball from bag 2 in such a way that both are of different colors. So what is the probability for this to happen is the question here. Now we know that if we want both the balls to be of different colors, the possible cases are red ball from bag 1 and black ball from bag 2 or green ball from bag 1 and red ball from bag 2 or green ball from bag 1 and black ball from bag 2. These are the three different cases in which we see that both the balls are of different colors. Now instead of taking these three cases, again we can take this as 1 minus probability that both the balls are of same colors. The question here says probability that both are of different colors. Probability of both balls being of different colors. Probability that both are of different colors can be taken as 1 minus probability that both are of same colors. Why? Because we know that the total probability is always 1. So instead of taking the probability of both the balls to be of different colors separately for all the cases, we can simply take it as 1 minus probability that both the balls are of same color. That means the ball that we take from bag 1 should be of same color as that of the ball we take from bag 2. Now if you try to observe, the only possible case where we get both the balls are of same colors is red ball from bag 1 and red ball from bag 2. Why? Because that is only the common color in both the bags. So we have to see to it that we pick up red ball from bag 1 as well as red ball from bag 2. So the answer here can be taken as 1 minus. Now red ball from bag 1. We know that total there are 5 red balls. We need to select one of them. So that can be done in 5C1 base. Out of total number of balls are 5 plus 4, 9. Out of these 9 balls, 9C1. See this is nothing but a case of combination. So we need to take the number of favorable combinations by total number of combinations. That is for bag 1. Then moving on to back 2, from back 2 as well we need to take up a red ball. So here we have total red 3 red balls, we have to select 1. That can be done in 3C1 ways and total there are 10 balls. And since we are selecting 1, the total number of combinations can be taken as 10C1. Now by simplifying this, we get the required answer. So that is equal to 1 minus 5C1 by 9C1 is 5 by 9 into 3C1 by 10C1 is 3 by 10. So this is equal to 1 minus 15 by 90 or this is 1 by 6. So 1 minus 1 by 6 will be equal to 5 by 6. So the probability that both the balls are of different colors will be equal to 5 by 6. So this is how for these type of questions instead of considering the various cases we can always go for 1 minus probability of failure to get the required answer. Let us now take third example from model 4 which is again a very interesting question. Let's look at the question first. A company has two grids, grid 1 and grid 2. Out of 5 directors and 4 general managers of grid 1, one person is transferred to grid 2, which has 3 directors and 7 general managers. If one person is promoted from grid 2, then what is the probability that this person is a director? So as you can see here, we have 2 grids, grid 1 and grid 2. In grid 1, there are 5 directors and 4 general managers, whereas in grid 2, we have 3 directors and 7 general managers. Now one person is transferred from grid 1 to grid 2 and then one person is promoted from grid 2. So what is the probability that the person who got promoted is a director? So let's see how to solve this interesting question. We know that there are, there are two grids, grid 1 and grid 2. In grid 1 we have got 5 directors and 4 general managers. There are 5 directors and 4 general managers. Whereas in grid 2 there are 3 directors and 7 general managers. So these are the types of persons that we have in grid 1 and grid 2. Now as the question says, one person is transferred from grid 1 to grid 2. So initially we transfer one person from grid 1 to grid 2. 
and then one person is promoted from grid 2 so one person gets promotion from grid 2 so what is the probability that the person who got promotion is a director so we need to find out the probability of the person who gets promoted from grid 2 being a director now here there are two possible cases that is when we are transferring a person from grid 1 to grid 2 it can either be a director or it can be a general manager whatever be the person who is transferred it can be a director or a general manager but the person who gets promoted should always be a director why because we are looking for the probability of the person being promoted to be a director so there are two cases director is transferred and director gets promoted or general manager is transferred but still director gets promoted so let's find out the required answer here that is the probability that the person getting promoted is a director now let's say director gets transferred from grid 1 to grid 2 and we have to transfer only one director why because the question says only one person is transferred from grid 1 to grid 2 so if that person is a director we have to first of all take the probability of the person being transferred to be a director now total we have got five directors here so out of five we need to select one that is 5c1 out of total nine 9c1 that means if we transfer a director from grid 1 to grid 2 the probability is 5c1 by 9c1 why because total there are five directors we select one and total grid has got nine persons out of nine persons we select one now once this director is transferred again we have to promote a director from grid 2 now while promoting a director from grid 2 now if you observe there are already three directors in grid 2 and one more director has got transferred here so now there are three plus one four directors out of four directors we need to promote one of them so that can be done in three plus one c one ways why because already there are three directors and now we have got one more from grid one out of total there are already 10 persons but one person has been transferred from grid one to grid two so now we have to take 11 persons in grid two so that is 11 c1 so this is one case director being transferred and director being promoted or the other case that is plus the other case here is general manager is transferred but still director is promoted so what is the probability that general manager is transferred from grid 1 to grid 2 there are total four general managers we need to select one of them that can be done in 4 c1 by total nine persons nine c1 ways into after transferring the general manager also we have to promote director only why because we are looking for the probability of person being promoted as a director so now if we observe when we transfer a general manager from grid 1 to grid 2 there are eight general managers but the number of director remains three only so we have to select any one of those three directors that is 3c1 divided by total number of persons in grid 2 after transferring one person will be 11 why because already there are 10 persons and now one person has come from grid 1 to grid 2 so total persons will be 10 plus 1 c1 that's it so these are the two cases that we have here director is transferred and director is promoted or general manager is transferred but director is promoted so when we transfer a director in the grid 2 we have three directors already plus one new director four we have to select one already we have 10 persons and one director is transferred so 11 we have to select one so 3 plus 1 c1 by 11 c1 and probability that the director is transferred is 5 c1 by 9 c1 then in the second case we transfer a general manager total four general managers so 4 c1 total nine persons by nine c1 but because this is combinations number of favorable combinations by total number of combinations here also number of favorable combinations by total number of combinations now once the general manager is transferred again we need to promote a director now there are only three directors now why because the person who has been transferred is a general manager so out of three we need to select one that is can be done in three c1 ways but total number of persons are 10 and one got from uh, transferred so 10 plus 1 11 c1 so this can be simplified as 5c1 by 9c1 is 5 by 9 into 3 plus 1c1 is 4c1 and 4c1 is equal to 4 divided by 11c1 is 11 plus 4c1 by 9c1 is 4 by 9 into 3c1 is equal to 3 and 10 plus 1c1 is 11c1 that is equal to 11. So we see that the denominator here is 9 into 11 and 9 into 11 that is 99. The first numerator is 5 into 4 that is 20 plus the second one is 4 into 3 that is equal to 12. So the final answer is 20 plus 12 that is 32 divided by 99. So the probability that the person who gets promoted from grid 2 is a director will be equal to 32 by 99. So this is how we can solve such typical questions from probability by taking the probability of each of the possible cases and adding all of them to get the required answer. So as you have observed from all these models, probability is almost based on permutations and combinations. 
probability is nothing but the number of favorable combinations by total number of combinations or it can be taken in some cases as number of favorable permutations by total number of permutations and whatever questions we have discussed in case of permutations and combinations all those questions can also be asked in terms of probability we only need to take the number of favorable permutations or combinations divided by total number of permutations or combinations to get the required answer so practice well on the questions of probability especially on the five marks question that we have discussed in model 3 why because that's the most popular one that we get in bank exams that's all from this topic of probability see you in the next session thank you